right. So uh, to your point, you're not that smart. Don't roll your own. I'm assuming to start this, that every single person listening to this is the smartest person in the room. Now I'm assuming if you're in the room with more than one person, look over at the other person and just kind of wink at them. They don't have to know you're the smartest. We all know it. We get it right. Unfortunately, that's not enough. It really doesn't matter. There are some types of functionality. And if you've been in development long enough, you know, there are some things that it's just really, really, really hard to get it right. Um, these, these tend to be like around safety or security related issues. And that's where I come in. I'm, I'm a penetration tester. I'm a breaker. Um, with developers, most developers and even sysadmins and, and most IT people, they learn to build. And so we learn, hey, you know, let's lay out my requirements. This is the thing I got to get done. We learn to test. We Everything we learn to do is based on building the thing. And once it's done, it works. It meets our requirements. We move on. But the problem is when we talk about safety stuff, when we talk about security stuff, uh, we have to think not just about how do I meet my requirements, but what is every possible combination of inputs that might break it? And that's where... Um, being smart doesn't come into play because it doesn't matter how smart you are. You can't think of every single possible thing. Somebody else will think of something. The framework will change an update will change the language. There will be something that affects you. Uh, this is very similar to like mechanical engineering, right? I've got a friend that's a mechanical engineer. And if you tell him, Hey, I want to build this thing and I'm using this uh, particular uh, type of metal and it's going to be this long and it's got to support this much weight, he will pull out this massive book and he will flip through to page 487 and he will have an exam, you know, he'll tell me here's the tensile strength of this over this much length and whatnot. That's how they do it because they have huge books of stats that have been refined over just an unbelievable amount of testing. That's what we have in frameworks. All of our frameworks have built out certain types of functionality that do that same thing for us. People have built something, somebody else broke it, and, uh, and then we say, okay, how do we make that better? And then somebody else breaks that and we figure out how we make it better. And so we have these massive uh, collections of functionality that we can just use and do this stuff for us. I remember when I was in college um, in C++, we weren't al allowed to use the standard template library until like you can't use a queue. You can't include that until you write your own queue. Once you've demonstrated that you can write it, and you know our instructor would come back and break it and point out something stupid and we'd have to fix it. And then we, you know, once we've demonstrated a, a thorough understanding of the different uh, libraries in the STL, not all of them, but, you know, the big ones, uh, then we were able to use that on future programs. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter how smart you are. Smart people make mistakes. Um, so there's a couple of examples. I know this is five minutes, so I don't have a lot of time, but um, cryptography is the big common one. Everybody thinks of crypto when we think about this. Don't roll your own cryptography. Don't do your own encryption. Um, I, I always use the, the example Bruce Schneier. Bruce Schneier literally wrote the book Applied Crypt Cryptography. When we talk about you know, any, any discussion of cryptography is going to at some point mention Bruce Schneier. The dude has like a dozen published algorithms, maybe more. I mean, there's a, a dozen that I saw just quick reference. Um, if you are in, at all involved in, in cryptography stuff, encryption stuff, you might be able to name one or two of them, you know, two fish, three fish, blowfish. Sounds like a, a Dr. Seuss book. Uh, but the thing is, all of those others you don't know about. And, and probably it's even probably a lot more than a dozen because what happens is he's an, a genius. He writes this stuff. Other people find huge flaws and then they move on to another, you know, rendition of it or whatever. So the smartest guy, literally argue, arguably the smartest guy in the industry isn't smart enough to do this himself. Um, don't write your own crypto. Your framework already has stuff built in. I don't care how smart you think you are. You're not going to be able to do a better job. You're going to miss something. You're going to screw something up. Uh, session management is another great example of that. Um, we see it, like it, when we do pen tests and stuff like that of applications, we see tons and tons of common problems with, with session management. Um, improper expiration of session tokens, maybe how you generate session tokens, able to find a way to brute force them because you haven't generated them properly. Uh, people store them in wrong places. They transmit them in different places. Um, you know, there's lots of different components to session management. You know, you've got the login form, the forgot password form, and the registration and the session expiration. You've got all these different components. Most frameworks nowadays have that built in. So use the tools you already have. Don't try to do it yourself. Don't try to be smart and think, well, I don't like that framework because it doesn't let me do this. There's probably a pretty good chance it doesn't let you do that for a reason. Um, you know, there, there are absolutely cases where, hey, I'm using this really obtuse language, you know, uh, what was uh, uh, somebody earlier was talking about, you know, for uh, a cloud native Fortran. All right. If you're doing Fortran in the cloud, maybe there's something that your language framework doesn't quite provide. I don't know. Um, but the vast majority of time, there's somebody that's already done it for you and they figured out how to make it better. Authentication is another one. Um, authentication is hard. 
it just is like the whole, you know, keeping track of, you know, uh, registration and making people create passwords and, and, you know, being able to brute force users and steal credentials and all this kind of stuff. There's so much out there that's hard. And honestly, tech has solved that, right? Like we have federated identity providers. There is no reason, I don't care what app you're creating, there's no reason I should have to generate a new password for your system and then go through and create new security questions and then give you my phone number and then, you know, store your multi-factor authentication because you better be using multi-factor authentication. Like I shouldn't have to do that for every single app. Let your users provide or, or pick their identity providers. If they trust Google, Facebook, Microsoft, whoever it might be, let them decide who they want for authentication. You trust those, you use those systems to authenticate your users, and then you can store the specific stuff, the permissions and you know the authorization levels and all that kind of stuff. You can store the specific profile stuff, but don't deal with authentication. You don't have to be doing that. Um, you know, pa Awesome, password management is hard. Stop making users have more passwords, right? We're bolting on all of this security stuff and we don't need to. Um, just wrapping it up, you know, a lot of people point to NIST 863B, you know, oh, NIST no longer requires long passwords. They only have to be eight characters and, you know, we don't have to expire passwords, whatever. That's not accurate. You're missing the point. That NIST 800.63B uh, defines a new concept of authentication with lots of other requirements. The thing is, you don't have to do any of that. It's been done. So like I said, you're not that smart. You're all smart, right? You're spending your free time watching a developer conference. I know you're all geniuses. Um, but uh, don't roll your own. That's all I got. Thanks. Oh, and I'll, I'll uh, upload my slides so everybody can see that later.